Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this quick WordPress tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can replace this black background right here. And this is appearing if you're underneath the full screen mode inside your WordPress editor. So one of the most recent versions of WordPress automatically enabled this black background and you have your site icon over it. Now there is no way to change this as of recording this in uh, December of 2022. WordPress does not give the ability to change this black background. I don't know why, but it really grinds my gears. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm going to show you a really quick way to replace that. So I am going to give credit to this website right here. And in this example, he showed you how you can replace it with you know, a custom image if you want. But in this case, I'm just going to show you how you can take this code and just change the color of the background so your site icon's always there, just with a different color background. The first thing I recommend is installing a Code Snippets plugin if you don't have one already. Um, I do recommend this one right here, just called Code Snippets. You could just download, install, activate this on your WordPress website. And what that's going to do is give you the ability to have a bunch of code snippets. If you are comfortable and if you don't want to install that, you could also go to your regular theme file editor and drop this code inside your um, theme functions. But I personally like to always have a bunch of code snippets on the website so you can turn on and off real easy. So once you got that activated, you could just go ahead and add a new PHP snippet. And as you can see, I already have one right here. And this is all you're going to have to do is just drop in this code right here and make sure you click run only in administrative area. Um, this does not need to run in the front end. So once you just drop that code in there, you can just hit save and activate. And as you can see, this code's very simple. All it's doing is it's basically saying if you're inside the block editor and it's full screen, change this CSS right here. And if you wanna have it where the background color is in white, that's what I have right here. So you can go ahead and change the background color right here. And then I just kind of added some extra code right here to make sure the um, border is correct on the bottom. And that's it. Once you hit save and activate, if you go back into your page in full screen mode, you're going to notice that it no longer has that ugly black background. And that's it for this WordPress tutorial. Make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.